how to self-publish a book that does over a million dollars. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you three specific ways on how to create and write and publish these books, even if you're not a writer, even if you've got no experience in the publishing business, utilizing different examples. And if you stay till the end, you'll get the same exact sales process and techniques that I utilize to create my best-selling books. And you're gonna realize by the end of this video, it's not utilizing the conventional methods at all and how you can actually finally get your message out there to the world. One of my previous videos that I talked about utilizing a book through a sales process, and many of you asked me like, Ping Jun, but what if I'm not a writer? What if I don't have a message? What if I don't know what to say? What if I don't understand the publishing business? Real quick, if you missed that video and I'll put a link right below this video, I talked about how I created this one book, one sales process, process that has generated millions of dollars and I showed you the stats. And the question now is, the focus of this video is, so how do we actually get that message out there to that world? Even if you feel you might not be an expert right now. I'm gonna walk you through three different ways. Let's talk about the first method. Okay, now this first book here is called the Content Multiplier Formula. And this is the first method to publish any book. This first method and this book itself has done, you know, millions of dollars throughout the entire sales process. And the way we do it is utilizing this sales process called free plus shipping. And the way that I wrote this book is by creating a presentation where I utilize this presentation at an event called Funnel Hacking Live. I delivered this keynote speech and I talked about a process. It was a framework, there was nine steps. And all I did was I took that keynote, I passed it on to somebody else who was a writer and this person created this book that has now made millions of dollars. Now, it could be the case that you might not be a speaker, you might not be speaking on stages, but this first method to write, create, and publish this book is by imagining you're gonna deliver the most important presentation in your life. I want you to imagine that one month from now, you're gonna speak in front of 5,000 people and imagine what that presentation would look like. What will you talk about? What will you teach that audience? And deliver that presentation in front of the camera and audience, put it on a set of slides, and then with that slide together a presentation, you are going to pass it on to somebody else. At the end of this video, I'm gonna be showing you the marketplace. How do you find these freelancers, these specialists where all they do is write books and how they're really good at them at a really inexpensive cost as well, okay? Now, before I move on to step number two, I wanna share with you why this thing here is, is so crucial. The mistake that I made when I first started out, which is wanting to publish a book, was I actually spent three years publishing this first book. And I'm not kidding, the first draft, I tried to write it myself. It took like an entire year. I hated it, I rewrote it, I still hated it. I hired a ghostwriter, I told that ghostwriter what my story is and I tried to, it was like a Frankenstein book where it was me working with the writer back and forth and all of that. And I realized that even after spending three years publishing that first book, I hated it. And that's why I pulled it off Amazon because I wasn't really proud of it even though I spent so much time and effort and focus and resource on that book because I was focusing on a skill set that wasn't a strength of mine. So I'd like you to notice that the three techniques that I'm gonna be sharing with you on publishing a book and how to get it out there is by doing it without writing a single word. But that was how I created this first book that you saw in the previous video. The second technique is how I utilized creating this next book called Platform Closing. Now, Platform Closing was a book that I created based on a training that I did based upon my experience speaking on stages, on the big stages, the small stages, and how I did it in more than 20 countries around the world. And all I did was I took this three and a half, four hour training and same thing here, I passed it on to a ghost writer whom specifically specializes in taking videos and putting it into a book. Now this book, I actually didn't write a single word, but this book, I'm extremely proud of it because this was congruent with my voice my teaching, my techniques. But again, I was doubling down on somebody else's strength. I'm not a writer, and if I were to try to write this book, it would probably 
have taken me an entire year and it would still not be a book that I would be proud of, okay? So think about, do I or do you have an existing asset, a, 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 a webinar, a members area, a video where you could take that existing thing that you have and pass it on to somebody else and have them put it into a book for you. The third method is this process that I utilize to get this book out called The Million Dollar Ads. And basically what this book was is a compilation. You'll notice that in this sales process, I literally got my team to look up all of the different ads that converted really well for us that we've spent millions of dollars on. And we put it into different frameworks. There were the Dream 100 ads, there were Reluctant Hero ads, there was the Hater ads, there was Viral Meme ads, and all these different ads that worked in different industries. And all we did was we took these case studies, these templates, and we put it into a book so that people who want to understand how to take their ad game to a whole new level could cover shipping or this book where, again, it's utilizing a free plus shipping method. Think about, are there these case studies or these templates or things that is done for you? The scripts where what your audience needs to do is just either copy and paste or fill in the blanks or reverse engineer or model where it's all given to them on a silver platter, which is literally what this book is. Again, this book is a book that, where I didn't write a single word. My team took all of the ads and the assets that worked well for us so that we can compile it and give it to the audience who want to understand how to create million dollar ads. Now, I could keep going on and talk about all of the different books that I've created, but what if I told you all these books today, I'm proud of them, they're congruent with my voice, my messaging, even though I didn't write a single book. You see, what I want you to start seeing right now is what if the thing that stops most people what do most people say? They say things like, I'm waiting for inspiration before I write my book. Now, let me ask you this. When does inspiration ever happen? Does it mean that one day you're walking in the woods and then you, you see a bird and then that bird was the inspiration you've always been waiting for? What if inspiration doesn't arrive, but rather you create and you summon inspiration from within and you take that first step of either shooting or, or creating a set of slides or speaking in front of the camera even if you didn't feel like it, because when you make that first step, which is motion, that motion is what creates the emotion to write the book. Even though you didn't feel like it, guess what? Your odds and your chance of taking the second step is gonna be a lot higher now that you've taken your first one. And now that you've taken step three, four, five, six, you're gonna realize that at a certain point in time, there's no backing out now because you're so close to completion. So take that first step or that next step, even when you don't feel like it because it is the motion that creates the emotion. The second thing, before we talk about how do you actually find these people, is to understand that today, unlike the traditional methods, the second thing that stops a lot of you from ever publishing this book is you say, but I don't know the book publishers, but I don't understand how the book publishing works. Today, there are a lot of platforms that is print on demand. And for example, Amazon, they've got a print on demand service where you literally take your Microsoft Word file, your PDF file, you upload it to them with a cover and that's it. Amazon will actually print it for you and their publishing arm is called Create Space. When you want to print, say, 100 copies, 1,000 copies, they actually print it on demand. Unlike traditional methods where you might need to commit to 10,000 books or 1,000 books where your house ends up being a warehouse, Create Space is print on demand. So that means if you get like 10 copies, they print 10 copies and ship out 10 copies. You get one copy today, they print out one copy and send out one copy, okay? So I hope that that answers some of your objections of I'm not a writer, but I don't know how the book publishing game works, but I don't have the inspiration yet. A very convenient one, right, that I see in the comments is, oh, but Ping Jun, but I'm not an expert. Great, one of the best-selling books of all time. If not the best-selling book of all time in the area of money and wealth, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Guess what? This book that has sold over 100 million copies today, when Napoleon Hill wrote this book, he wasn't coming from the angle of being an expert. He didn't say, hey, look at me, I'm extremely rich, I'm extremely wealthy, let me show you how I did it. He didn't come from the angle of results. He interviewed the people that were successful 
at his time to understand their train of thought, their belief system, how they're wired, and he compiled it in that book, and that book made him very, very rich. Now, what if you could do that in your industry? What if you could do the due diligence, interview the experts, document what it is that you're doing, compile it in one source, and what if that one thing could then generate the credibility and sales for you the same way Napoleon did it? So hopefully these different common objections that people utilize are now able to hopefully help you get unstuck. But let's move on to that final thing, how we find the right person with the right skill set to get this book published. Now, there are a lot of freelancing websites like Upwork and all that, but the site that I wanna to talk today that specifically specializes in books, this is called ReadZ. And ReadZ is a site that I utilize to meet the editors, the designers, to get my book to the marketplace. And the reason why I like this site over other generic freelancing sites is because this site only focuses and does book publishing. So that means if you want an interior of your book done nicely, they have people who specifically just specialize in that. It means that if you want somebody to proofread the book, there's somebody who specializes in just that. So unlike being a traditional, typical freelancing site, this is a site that literally just does book publishing. So you're gonna realize that uh, once you log in, there is the marketplace and there are all these different people. They could be the editor, the proofreader, the person who comes out with manuscript. So based on the different options that I showed you, what you want is number one, Find a ghost writer where you're gonna say the scope of work is I'm either going to give you a 90 minute video, a two hour video, I'm gonna give you a membership site training and you're gonna take that bunch of videos and you're gonna put in a book. Okay, so the first one you might wanna look for is a ghost writer. Number two, even though a person is a good ghost writer, number two, the, thing, the second thing you want is you want somebody to proofread the entire thing and you don't want the same person doing it because for something like that, you need a new set of eyes. So over here, this is where you wanna hire somebody to proofread and edit the entire thing. And finally, once you do that, the third person that you want is somebody that does the interior design so that the insides of the book is formatted nicely with you know the paragraph and the fonts and the layout and all of that. So if you want like a full-fledged service, these are the three main type of people that I utilize on a site like ReadZ, where they have the ghostwriters, the editors, and then the designers for the interior as well as the exterior of the book. So that is literally the secret of publishing a book without writing a single word. This is literally how I got Million Dollar Funnels published. And again, be sure to watch the next video. Guys, as always, uh, let me know what your biggest takeaway is if you enjoyed videos just like this one. And make sure you hit on the subscribe button to be notified of the next video when we release it. And I hope you enjoyed. I hope you gotten value from this. I will see you in the next video.